Hey, Dan Meyer here, and today I'm going to talk to you about the three most popular, most easy to use graphic design tools for those of you who are not graphic designers, right? This is gonna be fun, right? What we wanna be able to do is actually take away some of the stress when it comes to being able to design our own graphic design tools. And we wanna get away from having to hire full-time graphic designers if we don't need them. If we're only doing a little bit of graphic design where we're just doing things for ourselves, it's not anything that's close to a full-time or even you know half-time job, you wanna be able to do your own graphic design work. These are the three tools that my team uses for a variety of our clients to help them do graphic design. These are the three tools that my team uses to be able to do most of our imaging so that we're able to add images to all our videos. We're able to put some kind of look and feel to build our brand that's consistent. If you look at all my YouTube videos, look at all my blog posts, you're gonna start seeing consistency with our brand and we do that using these tools. This is super important because I know a lot about branding. After working for Wells Fargo for 15 years and understanding how corporations do their brand, I've also learned how small businesses have to build a brand and how important it is to be able to build a brand. I've done this. I've built six companies myself and I've helped over a dozen companies build their brands as clients. So this is what I suggest you do. Think about what it is that you wanna be able to do with graphics. Do you wanna have some things that you add you know, to the front and back of your videos? Do you wanna have consistent cover photos across things that you write or record? What is it that you need to do with graphic design? Right? Do you wanna do animations? Do you wanna do things that are just bright and colorful? What is your color palette? What is your logo? You should have some of this stuff already figured out, but spend some time thinking about it before you invest in the graphic design tools. A lot of people, especially if they're trying to go the more professional route, they probably already have invested in one of the Adobe, if not all of the Adobe Creative Suites. Adobe's kind of like the higher end, um, expensive, um, almost monopoly on graphic design out there in the professional workspace. If you're a professional graphic designer, 90 something percent of graphic designers professionally use one of the Adobe products and are on a regular basis, if not exclusively, to do graphic design work. I don't recommend Adobe unless you really want to do graphic design full time. If you're just doing graphic design in your business, if you're a virtual assistant, you do some graphic design sometimes, maybe a couple hours a week. If you're a small business owner, an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, you're trying to do your own thing, you wanna do graphic design, don't use Adobe. It's expensive, it's complicated, it's not easy to learn. Yes, there are a lot of tools about it. Yes, you can bundle a lot of stuff together, but it's just not user friendly. This is what I've learned from my own experience, as well as the feedback I've gotten from dozens of virtual assistants who do graphic design work, including my own team working for my clients. By far and away, the most widely used free tool um, is Canva. And Canva is a really good design tool for non-designers. It was designed that way. It's kind of like the anti-version of anything Adobe. Um, basically, it allows you to drag and drop things. It's really easy. It's really intuitive. Um, there are plenty of videos on YouTube about how to use Canva to do certain things. You just go to YouTube and type in, uh, how do I build a graphic design for XYZ? And it will give you tons of experts who will show you how to do it for free using the tool for free. Canva does have an upgrade, a pro version that you can use to pay monthly or annually if you want some additional features. But most people, most VAs out there doing just a couple hours a week of graphic design work are using the free version of Canva to build things, header images and cover photos, social media banners, even some infographics are pretty commonly used on Canva. That's the number one tool out there. If you're not using Canva, then you might be using Stencil. Stencil is really good at helping non-designers create content marketing and graphics for social media posts. It's a little more specialized than Canva. Canva is kind of like we took everything we love about Adobe and we put it in the software to give you a chance to use it for free and make it easier for you to use. Stencil is a little more specialized, a little more social media focused. Um, it has a very similar feel as far as you drag and drop stuff. It's also got a free version that most people use and a premium version you can upgrade for a pretty cheap monthly cost, both Canva and Stencil can be less than $10 a month if you're using that version. Um, it really is best for uh, presentations and blogs, um, email campaigns, newsletters. You can use Stencil. I basically look at this like, it's, if Canva is the Coke, then Stencil's a Pepsi. People just have a preference difference, right? A choice 
and taste is different for them. So if you're not really loving Canva, give Stencil a try. Um, if you are a Stencil user, you're probably pretty happy with it. I don't hear anyone complaining about it, um, and I think it's pretty cool. The third tool that my team uses and I talk about a lot is PicMonkey. Now PicMonkey is designed specifically for editing photos. You want to take a photo and you want to add some graphics to it. You want to add some visuals. You want to clean it up. Whatever you want to do. This is where Adobe Photoshop does it expensively and complicatedly. And what you can do in Photoshop to update images, to change images, you can do almost the same thing in PicMonkey. And PicMonkey is a lot cheaper than Adobe, right? So for like 12 bucks a month, you can get PicMonkey. You can uh, edit as many photos as you want. You can do a wide range of templates they have to be able to, to take photos and do things with them. If you want to build a brand and you have a lot of photos of yourself or photos of you doing things in your business, check out PicMonkey. It can be very helpful. So these are really the three tools that I, I like to talk about because they're ones that I think are cool. They have a, they're much cheaper and easier to use than going to traditional graphic design tools, which is pretty much means Adobe. Um, so check out PicMonkey if you want to do photos. Uh, check out Stencil for just social media and a little more broad base, a little bit of everything. Canva is your choice. And if you want to hire someone to do this for you, if you don't want to actually do it yourself, my team can handle all three, um, as well as I have a team that can work on Adobe. Um, so basically, whatever you need graphic designs for, for Facebook ads, social media posts, for marketing campaigns, for newsletters, we can help you build those images. So um, if you want to get started, there's two ways to do that. You can text the word data to 26786 and let us know what you are looking to do. What do you want to have a graphic designer do for you? You can start as simple as project part-time work or you can hire a full-time graphic designer. We have both types. Um, I want you to be successful. So if you do reach out to us through the text option of data at 26786, or if you email us through our website at sonicva, that's S-O-N-I-C-V-A.com. If you get a hold of us, um, you will not just be hiring a virtual assistant. You will be getting my support. I will work with you. I will coach you. I will help you be more successful. I'll help you figure out the right person to hire, how to onboard them, how to make sure that you're successful. My team of virtual assistants are full-time employees. They're very well engaged. They're very professional. They have college degrees. They have professional work experience. Um, they've done this kind of thing before. Um, so that's what we do at Sonic VA. We match up your needs as a small business owner, entrepreneur with talent from all over the world that can help you figure out how to grow your business, how to even launch a new business, or how to scale your existing business. Graphic design is a big part of that. So if you do use one of these tools, and I recommend that every virtual assistant think, know how to use Canva, Stencil, Stencil, and PicMonkey, and I encourage every business owner to either know how to use them or find someone, delegate, outsource, these things to someone who does. So that's my talk for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to drop a comment in the comments box below um, and look forward to new videos from us soon. Thanks a lot for your time and have a great day.